Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video on my channel here. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you a really good run scheme you guys can use in Madden 21. Now, I'm currently using the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook, and I'm using the formations iForm Pro and iForm Slot. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take iForm Pro, we're going to take one play out of there, and then we're going to audible down to iForm Slot, and we're going to take four runs out of there. And then also I'm going to show you guys a pretty cool trick that you can do at the end of this video. But before, well, before we do get in the video though, guys, if you don't want to follow me on Twitter, my link is going to be down below. Also, if you guys want to check out my Discord server, link's down there. And then if you guys want to sign up for Discord as well, that's down there. And then if you guys want to check out my two most recent videos, they are going to be in the top right of your screen right now in the card. And if you guys want to join the channel, it's $5 a month, but you get access to full written out Madden guides as well as early previews to my videos and shout outs in every one of my videos now for my shout outs today I do want to give a shout out to Crystal he bought my nickel 335 b book I really appreciate that and he is going to be getting a shout out now also if you guys want to check out my website link is going to be down below and embedded in the website is going to be my online store where I do sell ebooks I currently have four ebooks up on there right now I have the Miami Dolphins offense Raiders offense and then I have nickel 335 defense and nickel 335 wide defense there are ten dollars a piece and you get about five to six videos as well as a full word document with everything you need to know about the scheme you guys can go ahead and check that out in the link below but guys without further ado let's go ahead now let's get into the pre-play adjustments for this run scheme okay guys so here we go this is going to be the run scheme this is out of iform pro now what you're going to want to do in terms of your substitutions we're going to start off you just want to make sure that in your fullback position you have a pretty good blocker like a pretty good tight end blocker or a good fullback so Jakob johnson should do the job pretty well right here for new england and basically what we're going to do now we're going to go into iform pro you know you're not going to make any changes, but you're going to want to always come out on this play right here. The Y play selection is going to be 26 duo alert, look, alert X looky. It's on the third page of players. You're going to want to always come out on that. And then what we're going to do, guys, is you can either stick with this play or you could audible down to iForm slot. Now, in terms of iForm slot, what my audibles I like to run is going to be my X audible is going to be stretch alert bubble. My Y, my y audible is going to be halfback dive alert bubble. LB is going to be halfback blast and RB is going to be 94 will. They are all the X play selections on the separate pages of plays. And pretty much, I mean, that's pretty easy. So what you're going to do, once again, just have your audibles right form slot set a stretch alert bubble, halfback dive alert bubble, halfback blast, and 94 will. And then just make sure that you have a good blocker in your fullback spot. But now, guys, for the further ado, low, let's go ahead and let's move into the setup here for this run scheme. Okay, guys, so here we go. This is going to be 26 duo alert looky. So you're going to see right here, this is going to be the play that we're going to be coming out. And you see that this is actually a very good play because you do have that slant coming on the left side. Side. That could be a very route to very good route to throw to. You also do have a pretty good run here in 26 duo. Now, how you're gonna set this run up here? You're just gonna slide protection to the right, which is gonna be LB, and then right in the right stick. Then the next thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're going to ID the mic our opponent's user, whether it be a safety or a linebacker. Just press LB and A, and then you're just going to move the left stick over to what player your opponent is using. So we're just gonna move them over to this middle linebacker right here. And then the next thing we're going to do, guys, and the final thing we're going to do is we're going to double team someone. Now, you're going to double team one of these two players. Either if your opponent has a superstar X Factor or a superstar ability player on their defensive line or in the, one of their linebacker spots that are pretty close to the offensive line, or you're going to ID the mic any player that decide you're going to run to. And preferably you want to double team either this right defensive end or this right outside linebacker. We're going to double team this right outside linebacker right here. Now, basically what you're going to want to do in this play, you're going to want to read. The biggest thing is you're going to want to read what this player does right here or this player. Depends on what formation you're running out of your, your run defense for your opponent. Basically, if this one of these two players, if they drop back and play coverage pretty shallow, you don't want to throw the slant because that's going to be an easy pick six for them. However, if you guys want to, if they, if they go and they play the run, if they blitz play the run, or they drop back deep in coverage, then you're going to press X, which is going to be throwing the slant. So basically, you're just going to kind of read either the outside linebacker or that safety, depending on what formation your opponent is running his run defense out of. So pretty much, I see here that safety, he's going to drop back. So we're just going to cut inside Sony Michelle right here. You see, we get about 10 yards on that play, and Jakob Johnson actually threw a pretty good block. So once again here, we're going to run this. Now, we're going to also do a simulation too, where my opponent's but let's just say my opponent's user is going to be the left side safety. 
So what we're going to do, we're just going to blitz the Y safety, the free safety that comes down. And we're going to read what he does. So once again, slide down to the right. ID the mic, your opponent's user. And then double team either, either an ability player that's on the defensive line or one of the linebackers. Or you're going to double team the right side linebacker or whatever side you want to want to. So we're going to see here that he's going to blitz. We're going to throw this ball here to X. And you see Julian Edelman. He almost gets to the crib, gets taken down at the 10-yard line. But pretty much, you know, if you read that safety correctly, could be a house call. But now, guys, we're going to move on to the runs at an I-form slot. Okay, guys, so here we go. This is going to be the play at an I-form slot. Now, what we're going to do here in terms of this play, the first one is going to be stretch alert bubble. Now, these are pretty simple here. This one, the stretch and the dive, they're going to be basically the same setups as the other ones. However, for the dive, you're not going to be sliding your protection to the right. You're just going to ID the mic, your opponent's user, and double team whatever linebacker. Now, in terms of this play, right here we're just going to slide our protect to the right because we are running a halfback stretch to the right so we just do that then we're going to id the mic the user player so we'll decide to mic this linebacker then we're just going to double team this player right here considering he's the best to go with now in terms of this play right here you want to read what this cornerback does or this safety basically depending on what formation you're out of could be a cornerback could be a safety could even be a linebacker from concern but basically you want to see what they do if they drop down and play shallow coverage or play man coverage on the bubble screen, you're obviously not going to want to throw it. However, if they do either play the run or, or drop back in deep coverage, then you're going to want to throw the bubble screen. Now, I'm just going to show you what happens real quick if you do make the wrong read and he's going to play shallow coverage. We're just going to throw the ball. You're going to see that you're not really going to have a lot of room for error. Yes, we got about five yards on the play, but if you have a decently, like if you don't have a fast receiver and they have a really fast defensive back, then you're most likely going to be not getting any yards or almost losing yards so you just have to kind of make a read right here now what we're going to do we're just going to say they're going to drop back and play deep coverage so we're just going to run this you're going to see that they're going to play deep coverage and we're going to run this you see Nikhil Harry gets about 10 to 15 yards on that play you know very very simple obviously right there and once again, you're just going to audible down to I-form slot. We're going to run the stretch alert bubble. Now, let's just say my opponent is playing shallow coverage. We're just going to run this play right here. And what we're going to do, we're just going to slide protect to the right. I need the mic to use the player. And then double team, we're just going to do this linebacker. You're going to see you really have to sort of hit the hole. But you see right there, blocks held up amazing right there for Sony Michelle. We were not able to take it to the house. But you saw that we got a very, very good gain off of that. Now we're on, I believe, the 15-yard line. So we got about like 15 yards on that run. So very, very good play right there. Now I'm also going to show you guys the dive too. Dive is pretty easy as well. Just got to make the right read. Now, the only difference between this and the stretch is that you're not going to slide protection anywhere, as I mentioned before. You're just going to keep it on normal. So we're just going to run this right here. And all you got to do now, you're just going to ID the mic, the user player, and then double team. Either you can do this linebacker or you could do a defensive lineman. And we're just going to do a D lineman in this case. So we're just going to run this. You're going to see that we go with that. You see the user gets picked up. We end up turning up field and we get a pretty solid amount of yards. Now, we're going to talk about real quick as well. We're going to talk about the halfback blast. Now, with the halfback blast, you can go either to the left or to the right really does not matter in this scenario what we're going to do though we're going to go to the left because i see that there's less defensive personnel on that left side so we're probably going to get a bit more space so we're just going to run this real quick and once again here, we're just going to, this time, if we're going to the left side, you're going to want to slide protection in case you want to bounce it outside. So we're just going to slide protection. We're going to double team this player. And then we're actually going, or I do the mic, the user player. And then we're going to double team this linebacker. So basically, this is what it looks like. We hike the ball. You see that we get some very good blocks. And we end up actually taking it to the house because we got some really good blocks right there. So... You know, that's halfback blast. Really, you just want to measure, like, okay, what side does my my op opponent have less players on? The left or the right side? And that's going to be the side where I'm going to run it to. Now, if you do start to kind of struggle out of this, I am going to show you guys quick tips. So, we're going to run at a 94 will. We're just going to run. Once again, we're going to pinch defense. Shannon underneath. Bliss all linebackers. You know, pretty simple run defense. Obviously, you know, you're not going to see this a lot in online games. But in terms of at a 94 will, you can't really run it to the left side so once it, so we're just going to slide protect to the right i did the mic the opponent's user and then double team you can do either the defensive lineman or the outside linebacker we're going to do the defensive lineman in this case we're just going to hike the ball you're going to see right here that we sort of have to make a read now unfortunately we did run straight into the, the into the defensive lineman so you kind of have to make a read but now guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a little bit of a cool trick that you can actually do out of this offense okay guys so this is going to be the pretty cool trick that you could do so what you can do is you see how we can audible to iPhone Pro, iPhone Y-Alpha, and iPhone Slot. 
However, you could also audible into Gun Split Close Miami, or I believe it's Gun Split Close Pats. You can audible into any formation that has two uh, that has two wide receivers and two running backs. So any formation that has that, you can audible into it. Now in the Miami Dolphins playbook, this is obviously a dream because if you run your offense out of here, you could just simply go, okay, we're gonna go with like wide receiver corners, right? We're just gonna audible right out of there. And we're going to run our setup, and basically my opponent is coming out as run defense, and then I'm going to audible down to my passing defense, and you're going to see right here that we're going to be able to expose him pretty good. Now, that was actually a bad read on my part. I did not mean to do that, and I just thought that the player was going to drop down back or down farther, but basically you can audible into your offense if it does have two tight ends, two wide receivers. So let's just say my opponent comes out as run defense, and I just do like my quick hike setup, so just hitch the running back or option the running back, block the other running back, and then we're going to hitch the player right here. You're going to see that we're going to be able to throw like this corner out. Now, unfortunately, we did not make the best read, but you're going to see that we can catch him out, and we can actually run our offense, and we can catch him off guard. So, guys, that's going to do it for this video, though. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to smash a like. I really do appreciate it, guys. The support recently has been insane. Thank you guys, by the way, for helping me hit 1,800 subscribers. I really could not have done it without you guys. But anyway, take care. Most importantly, stay classic.